guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday. Yes, <laughs> uh, December 20th, five days to Christmas. So I just got back from taking Jesse to my mom's. It's Vlogmas Day 20, I forgot to say that. Um, it's about 11 o'clock. I got a bunch of happy mail, but I'm gonna show that in a happy mail video. A lot of Christmas cards. And actually, I will show this real quick. I got some little readers for Jesse, uh, stage one, which is where he's at from Valerie, from Val Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet. Um, but I'm gonna show these in like a clip and then I'm going to, I'm actually gonna wrap these and put them under the tree for him. And uh, Valerie, I'm gonna put them from Santa. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're gonna be Santa for him. But there's a Grinch one. I'm so excited about that. But, um, and we read holiday books and Halloween books and all that um, all year long. So we'll have those out all the time. So thank you so much for that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to wrap those up for him as an extra gift from Santa. And then I got a new, the new Joann's flyer. I didn't even look at it yet. Anything good? Their storage stuff is on sale. I wonder if that means carts, too. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Oh, their three-tier carts are $30. It's a good deal. Open it up. Ugh, it's hard for me. Ooh, Yarn Normous sale. Big Twist is going to be $1.99 each. When does it start? I don't see dates. It doesn't say. December 26th through January 12th. So the day after Christmas. Hmm. I like a big twist yarn. <laughs> uh, any other good ones? Not really. They don't always have the best yarn sales. Sewing machines are on sale. Or will be. Cricut stuff. 50% up to 50% off all fabric. All right, here's some more carts. Hmm. <laughs> I need some of these things for like uh, safety eyes. I wonder how much they are. A lot of people suggested getting like toolbox or going to tool stores and stuff, which I, I do say, you know, to do that too. Because <laughs> my, um, my sewing notions is in a tackle box that I got from Walmart. And it's black and green because it's a tackle box. You know, it's supposed to be manly or whatever. <laughs> um, it was like nine dollars and the same exact thing was in the craft section but it was clear same size same amount of shelves and everything and it was like twenty dollars so i just got the black one and i got all my sewing notions in it i got a caboodle at uh my thrift store it's like an old makeup uh box <laughs> that I, all my crochet notions are in right now but i need more storage for my safety eyes anyways so my mom gave me four bags of fruit <laughs> Her church had their Christmas play uh, Saturday. We, we usually try to go, but this year Devin had to work that out. So, um, but they always hand out bags of fruit and chocolate to everybody who comes. And every year, even if we don't get to go, my mom always grabs a bunch for us. So she grabbed me four bags. So let's see what's in them. An apple. I love that. That's my favorite apples. Banana. A orange to go with my other oranges. And a Reese's. That's one bag. <laughs> bag number two. Kit Kat. Woo. Another banana. Another apple. I'm glad for apples because we love apples. Another orange. These oranges look a little beat up. <laughs> we got a bunch of oranges on the back of my stove from my mother-in-law. Her, her family's from Florida. Another apple. So they send up... Uh, Another Reese's. <laughs> they send up oranges every year, and we always get some from them. Uh, orange and a banana. Bag number four. Banana. Another Kit Kat. <laughs> and an apple. And another orange. So we got four oranges, four apples, four bananas, two Reese's, and two Kit Kats. <laughs> So that's good. I love Kit Kats and so does Devin. And Jesse loves Reese's. I eat them every now and then, but this pregnancy I haven't really been wanting too many sweets. Mostly salt. Everything salty is like, I gotta eat it. <laughs> but I'm happy for the bananas and the apples. The oranges, we'll I have to try to eat up all these oranges. I've been slowly eating the uh, Florida ones. They're nicer nice color. Can't see it because it's stinking a lot, but they're really good. So I'll just put these in the rotation. And uh, I love these apples, these green, um, greeny yellow ones. Yeah, this is going delicious. 
these ones. I wonder where they got these because I can't find these at Walmart. They're like rarely at Walmart anymore. Golden Delicious are my favorite um, apples. And I also like Ambrosia apples. There was another one. I can't remember now. Anyways, I'm going to, um, what am I going to do? Nothing. <laughs> I got to record a video in a little bit for Moving Stitch Z and the finishing of the blanket. The, um, you know, talking about how I sewed it all together and stuff. Um, and then that's it. That's all I have planned today. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to work on my Christmas blanket some more. I got all the squares done yesterday. So I need to uh, start sewing it together. Um, I did a little laundry last night because Jesse accidentally got some towels super wet when he's playing with some water. So I went ahead and washed them so they wouldn't get mildewy. And I threw some of the things in there. And they're in the dryer, so i got to pull it out of the dryer. And then i got to figure out what to make for dinner tonight. Or maybe I'll just, since it's just me and Devin, maybe I'll have him go get us some food <laughs> later. Because I could go for some more Chinese. I probably shouldn't because of the sodium. And I'm so, you know, I'm, I'm later in the pregnancy, so I need to watch for sure my sodium. But it's so good. And Michelle, Pixie Mirror Crates, if you're watching this, I have you a Christmas card. And I have mailed it to you twice, and it's come back twice. This time it was my own fault, because I didn't even put your address on the thing. <laughs> my pregnancy brain is killing me. I hope that other people are getting their cards for me because there's no telling where I sent the darn things. Because I sent one to her and it came back. I can't remember what this little sticker said. The address wasn't written down right or something. And then this time it says that it's not forwardable because there's no address on there. I didn't put a sticking address on it. So I've got to um, remail it, but it's going to get to you late. I guess I can just say Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday. <laughs> Hopefully you're watching this one. Um, I just thought it was so funny. I was like, I cannot send a card to Michelle. It keeps coming home. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm going to put this Happy Mail in there with my stack. I'm going to film a Happy Mail video in a couple days. Because I got a lot more cards. And uh, a couple baby gifts. And a couple Ella gifts. And then I, I'm going to show these books. I'll probably take a picture of them. Because I want to get them wrapped while Jesse's not here. And they're going to be from Santa. So there's Tyrann Tyrannosaurus Rex, Cooking with the Grinch, Big Shark, Little Shark, and Room Zoom Bud. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time finding uh, level one readers. But these are good because like these have just the little words. So he can read them, you know. I can help him sound it out and he can read. Because the level 2 ones jump like a lot. Because some of the level 2 books that we got. I ordered level 1 I thought through um, Scholastic. But it came with like 1 or 2 level 1's. And then the rest of the like 8 <laughs> was level 2's. And it's got words like monster and zombie. Because they're Halloween themed ones. <laughs> um, and stuff like that. And he, you know he doesn't know those bigger words yet. He's still in little words. He's learning little words. I'm excited about this Grinch one. I love everything Christmassy. And I love the Grinch. So yes. I'm going to try to take a picture of this. And wrap it with the Santa Claus paper, which I have to dig out because I, I hid it already. And um, then that can be an extra gift from Santa. So, yeah, I guess that's all the chatting for now. I gotta eat something. I ate a cookie this morning <laughs> when I woke up. We got there, our cookies pretty fast. Look, it's already. But these are so good. I love how floofy they are. <laughs> we tried so many cookie recipes, and we finally found that one that worked, and it's just the best one. I gotta make more of those on Thursday. And I gotta make chocolate bark that day as well. And my sister in law asked if I could make chocolate bark with peppermint in it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of these candies I accidentally bought. <laughs> I was trying to get these chocolate Hersey Bells, which I cannot find anywhere, the regular ones. So, I bought this bag. I didn't realize it was mint. And now I don't like mint chocolate. Devin does a little bit, so this is Devin's chocolate. And Jesse ate a couple of them, but he doesn't like prefer them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some of these um, kisses and those Hershey barrels. I'm just going to cut them up and put them in the chocolate bark to make it pepperminty. Uh, that way I can use that. But Devin loves these uh, York patties. And uh, so he's been slowly eating them. But that's what happens when you don't pay attention. I wanted just Hershey bells. So I was going to put those in Jesse's Advent. But I, I got Santa's and uh, turtle coins. So it's all good. I went ahead and let him open the rest of his Lego advent and get his chocolate out because um, he's going to be gone until probably Christmas Eve. So um, I just went ahead, let him, went ahead and let him take it to his granny's. And 
yeah all right i'm gonna hop off here and clean up all this fruit find somewhere to put it <laughs> and i'll pop in at some point today and check in with you guys if i can remember i shouldn't be doing much today i'll probably spend a lot of time on the couch drinking a lot of water because i'm like i was like i can't get enough water in my body right now i'm just constantly thirsty um and i'm gonna crochet some today i want to start a new project but it needs to be a little project so i don't know i gotta go hunting for something to start <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> it's a little bit later. I got my feet soaking down there. <laughs> I'm gonna do like an at-home pedicure. I bought me with my gift card a little like pedicure kit. So I need some more foot scrapey things because I have one of these in the bathroom, but it's pretty used. So I needed to get a new one, and it came with like one for your toes <laughs> and one of these heel things, which is a little scary, but I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> and uh. I had Devin help me pick out some nail polish. I showed him the brand that I like, which is Sally Henson, and uh, the cost, because some of them are like very expensive. <laughs> so I had him pick out a color, and he picked out number 333, which is called Peachy Breeze. I showed him like the colors I liked, and then he picked out from the ones I liked. So that's the one that I'm gonna paint my toenails with. I'm letting them soak so that the skin softens up, and then I can do all the scraping and all that gross stuff. <laughs> and, uh, I don't think they need trimmed. I trimmed them the other day. Uh, and then I'm going to try to paint them. <laughs> but he told me the other day when we bought it, uh, if I can't paint them, he'll paint them for me. So he's still asleep right now. But if uh, I can't reach him, I'll just have to wait for him to get up and come paint them for me. But uh, I thought that was so sweet that he offered. <laughs> and uh, I got this nice pink color. It says it's peachy breeze, but it's it's a pink color definitely. It's not it doesn't look orangey, peachy, peachy to me, which is usually what I associate <laughs> with peach. But uh yeah, so I'm sitting here, I'm watching my one of my guilty pleasures, which is Sister Wafts. <laughs> I uh I went I was thinking about it and I went ahead and resubscribed to Discovery Plus because there's so many uh shows on there that I like watching. So uh I'm getting caught up on Sister Wives and then I'm gonna go find something else to watch. <laughs> but uh Reality TV is my guilty pleasure, even though I know it's fake most of the time, or somewhat, you know, it's like scripted, uh, but it's still fun to watch. So I'm going to sit here and do a pedicure or tip two, <laughs> if I can bend, look at my stomach, my shirt's real dirty, ignore that, <laughs> but uh, my stomach is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and i still got anywhere from six to like eight weeks to go, Lord, I don't know how big my stomach's going to be by the end of this. She's going to be big, just like her brother. I can feel it. Oh. <laughs> also, I've decided, me and Devin's been talking about it a lot, and uh, I've been doing research. I've decided that I want to try to do a natural birth, assuming I don't have to get induced. Because if I have to have Pitocin, I want epidural, because Pitocin hurts so bad. But uh, if it's just healthy and, you know, I go into labor, uh, I want to try to do it natural without epidural because I want to be able to get up and move. That's one thing I hated about when I was laboring with Jesse. Well, as soon as, you know, they put all those IVs and the epidural and all that stuff on me, I couldn't get up and move. You know, I was stuck. Well, you know, obviously, when you're epidural, you're, like, paralyzed, basically. <laughs> um, and I hate that. I want to be able to get up and walk around if I want to or at least just stand and, you know, move. Uh so I'm going to try my hardest. I know it's doable. Women do it all the time and have forever. So we'll see. You know, I can always change my mind last minute. But uh, I made it without epidural to 8 centimeters with Jesse with Pitocin. So surely I can make it the rest of the way and uh, be fine. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and watch this and mess around with my feet. <laughs> hey, guys. <clears throat> hey guys, <laughs> my voice is just being on the fritz. I am making some pizza, just one of these pizza boxes. I love these. I know they're probably not healthy at all. Like, I don't even want to look at it. <laughs> but uh, I've been eating these my whole life. My mom used to make them, and now uh, I make them occasionally. And they're delicious. I don't love them. So don't judge me. <laughs> but Devin just left for work. Uh, I've been pretty much sitting on the couch all day. Just been tired and pregnant. And, uh, I've been playing games on my phone and watching TV. That's pretty much all I've done today. Uh, so I'm going to make this pizza because I'm hungry. And then I'll have the leftovers for Devin because he's only got to work six hours tonight because he had some vacation time left over. And they want them to use their vacation time before the end of the year.
because it doesn't roll over, which sucks. But the good thing is, after the new year, he'll have a lot of vacation time, which we'll be using for when the baby's born, along with, uh, he'll be using FMLA, but it only pays, I can't remember if it's 40% or 60% of his pay rate. But if he has vacation time, he can use that with his FMLA, so he gets days off and gets paid 100%. I don't know. Something like that. It's just messed up the way it is here. <laughs> but anyways, he'll have more time so when she's born, he can be home with me um, for a while. But yeah, so I'm about to make that. I had to get the box back out of the trash because I forgot how much water it needs. <laughs> also, I gotta turn the temperature up on the stove. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna make this real quick. It comes with sauce and then I put cheese and pepperonis on it myself. Uh, I'm gonna pig out on it because this is one of my favorite pizzas ever and this Chef Boyardee sauce is my favorite pizza sauce They used to sell it at our Walmart in a can uh, But they don't anymore now you have to buy the kit to get it I know they still do some places though because I watch people's grocery hauls and they buy it sometimes, but it's so good I painted my nails earlier and my toenails after I did my little pedicure thing I wasn't gonna paint my fingernails, but then I was sitting there waiting for my toes to dry and all that and I was like I'm gonna go ahead and paint my fingernails, so I did so it's that pretty color that Devin picked out. He likes it. He says it looked really pretty. But yeah, so I'm gonna <clears throat> get this in the oven. And then I'm gonna go, I'll probably open my scrap box. I haven't done that yet today. And then I'm probably just gonna sit down and watch TV. <laughs> Cause uh, just taking it super easy today. I haven't done that laundry, it's still in the dryer. It can stay there. Uh, I didn't cook anything today earlier when I ate. Uh, all I've eaten today was I had uh, some ice and bologna and crackers <laughs> and some chips uh, when I was talking about it earlier. Did I say that? I can't remember. Anyways, that's all I ate today. So I, uh, oh, and I ate a little Hershey bar, one of those little ones. <laughs> but, uh, so uh, my appetite's been like, like in the beginning of my pregnancy, I had no appetite at all because I was thrown up. <laughs> and then I got back to normal in the middle and now towards, now that I'm at the tail end of it, my appetite's like gone again. Like I'm, I'm not hungry at all, like ever hardly. I have to like remind myself to eat. Uh, so I'm gonna make this pizza. I gotta put the water in there. Is that all it needs? And oil. Uh, and then I'm gonna eat some of it and watch TV and just relax. I wanna crochet, but I don't know what to start because I don't wanna start anything too big. And then it sat around for a while after the baby's born. So I might try to find some cute little amigurumis or something. Just something to work on quickly. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to just look around on Ravelry and stuff. I found some really cute patterns on Etsy earlier by accident. <laughs> I was scrolling Facebook and I saw one and it led me into like a rabbit hole. <laughs> and really cute stuff that I'll probably make for my sister in the future. But they're bigger amigurumis so they will... I won't be making them anytime soon. <laughs> they're big nutcrackers. Uh, if I think about it, I'll pop up a picture and link it below. There's a, they're just really pretty. But yeah, so I'm going to get the water going. i got to get heated up. i got to get it like, hot because it has yeast in it, so it's got to activate it. But, um, let's see here. One and a third cups. Okay. <laughs> and then I might pop back in and talk, or I might just do the scrap ball. I don't know. But right now, I'm going to get this going because I'm hungry and uh, I want to eat some of the sauce. <laughs> mixing up the dough right now and I'm missing Jesse <laughs> always missing when he's gone usually when I make these pizzas or if we make any homemade pizza he is the one who helps put the sauce and the cheese and the toppings on it so I'm missing my little buddy <laughs> but uh, he wants to spend some time with granny so I'm gonna let him even though I miss him <laughs> and it's nice to have a little bit of time to myself uh, Devin's off calendar he's off Tuesday and Wednesday and then he goes back to work on Thursday but he only has to work four hours because if he works after midnight they uh, have to give him holiday pay and they don't want to do that <laughs> so uh, and then he's off 24th 25th 26th 27th and he has to work the 28th to 29th and then he's off from the 30th through January 6th so and we home a lot after around New Year's. I'm trying to get all this dough mixed in here. I'm trying not to use my hands. <laughs> Normally I just go in with my hands, but I'm, I don't want to mess my fingernails up. <laughs> so I'm using a fork. And it's kind of working. Alright. So now I'm going to get this pizza going and get it in the oven. 
And then, I just wanted to hop on here and say that I was missing Jesse. <laughs> I needed to tell somebody that I'm missing my baby boy. But he's happy. Yeah, grannies. I called earlier to check on him because I'm paranoid. <laughs> and uh, they were playing with kinetic sand. My mom said that they went down to get him some food. Because <laughs> he's spoiled rotten. So they went and got him a happy meal. And um, some kinetic sand. So he got, he got food and a toy, essentially. And they were in the floor playing with it. <laughs> But um, the reason I called is because the road close to their house had a really bad wreck on it. And uh, I was making sure it wasn't them. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> I'm going to get this pizza going. And I'm going to go find something to watch on TV that I haven't watched before, hopefully. Hey, guys. It is later. It is almost 9 o'clock. <laughs> but I wanted to come on here. I finished um, the four gingerbread people I was working on. <laughs> and also have all my squares laid out in the floor right now. Uh, of how I'm going to crochet them together for the Christmas blanket. It is definitely bigger than the Halloween blanket. I'm pretty sure. So I either used a smaller hook for the Halloween blanket or I did less squares. Because this looks much bigger than my Halloween blanket. I don't know though. This is 64 squares. I can't remember how many my Halloween blanket had. But I'm going to show it to you and then I'm going to open the yarn ball and then I'm going to edit this and get it up because it's late. <laughs> so there's all these squares. That's how they're gonna look. <laughs> they're just all loose and I gotta crochet them all together. And that's a lot. Like, there's my foot. <laughs> For reference. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> 